Hey guys, welcome to Alphascope, a first impressions video for Mad Games Tycoon, which is a mashup between a Theme Hospital and Game Dev Games. A funny mix up, if you ask me. I love Theme Hospital, I love Game Dev Tycoon, and other Game Dev Games, so I should like this. And I do like this. So, welcome to Give Me Your Money, it's uh, my company, led by Bill Gates. And what do you do? Well, you make games. That's uh, about it. Or is it? Not really. Basically, you run the whole company. You got your production lines, you got your storage spaces, training areas, staff rooms, marketing, and toilet, and etc. So, basically when you develop a game, you just click there, select the topic, you can research these at the research room, you can research genres, which there are, there are plenty of. You got real-time strategy, sports, simulation, that's a lot when you compare to other games, they usually have like 5 or 6, so this is a lot, lot more. And topics, you got everything, you can get them right at the bat, they cost like 50 research points and 10, 10k, 10 grand, whatever that means. But when you develop a game, you get these experience stars, which help at the... I can't remember what, what it was called. Let's say I'll make this with IT, IT Tech 1.0. 1. 1. Uh, let's say call this game... What shall we go we call it? Dr. Murica. I think I already have a Dr. Murica game, but I don't give a crap. Let's go there, select the platform, go with PC, and Nintendo Smith, they have these weird variations of the real life, real life consoles, so it's... You know what, what they are, you know how popular they were, etc. You can use your... I think you can use your experience from re real life to this. Ness, excuse me, MES was quite popular, so... Game concept, yeah. When you get those experience stars by trial, trial and error, you can... you get these optimal settings where the game should be the best game it can be, which is uh, a bit, bit, how I say it, uh, I'm not saying it's unfair, but it it's from the trial and error, which in my case is, in my opinion, it's, it's bad. Well, n not bad, but it's strange, when you got these research, you can uh, unlock everything <clears throat> from these topics and use this research to get those XP stars. So you could try to get the optimal with trial and error, or you could research these topics like two or three times to get those stars. That would be, in my opinion, a better way. Of course you can... Uh, God damn it, Nintendo. I don't give a crap. Oh, mess is going off market. Let's see how it how well it did. Dev kits and mess. Yeah, 13% market share. Not bad. And Smash has 10.9. Of course, PC Master Race ruling with 38.8. So But basically you could you can research features and then you can at the de development 
res uh, make your own engine now or you can buy one there's plenty plenty engines but they you have to share profit it costs to use them or you have to buy them so basically it's in the long long run making your own engine is a better way uh, everything there seems to be some kind of pacing problems oh shit I need to produce some games so basically after you can produce your own games or you can give it them to publishers which give you a cut like four dollars per sold game here you can determine it yourself which is nice let's say I'll just put the 120,000 yeah that should be good I got capacity for 220,000 so um, not this one price and packing you can change quite a lot so uh, the, you can put posters there it costs you the production cost, costs more but the, the retail price that I, I mean profit goes down let's say I put out deck there it's ten dollars then I take the deck off and it's eleven so you can uh, customize a lot when you produce your own games I think I made some changes but whatever uh, pacing of the game is very strange uh, making a game takes a lot of time almost I've been uh, playing this for 15 years in a game time uh, let's see how many games I've done since the first one uh, 12 games so it's almost almost one a year or about one a year per game and it takes a while so the main problem is that when it, everything is rolling you can't actually do anything you just sit around and wait like here I'll put make a marketing campaign to radio for Dr. Murica and now you just wait there's no time control buttons here or there you can't pause uh, the time unless you unless you press something like uh, options here which interesting interestingly didn't work that pauses the game but at the moment I can't do anything I just sit around wait, wait for the game to finish or something else to finish and I'm out of games again let's take 50,000 yeah basically what this game needs is a time control and this is unnecessary really uh, it it covers a lot a lot of the area where it's this should be like here at the side and if the problem is yeah it's English and uh, he is talking Deutsch to me Germany Germany he's talking Germany not Deutsch Deutsch is the way Germ German people say it I think but anyway these little icons they should be here and if you dev make more rooms like a dev development room too there should be a second one and when you hover over it it highlights the room uh, and when you click it it centers around it little things like that but in the core I think this is a this is a good idea and uh, with polish I think this might be a one of the best 
game dev games that I've played. Just because you have so much uh, company management around this, not just the creating of games, but storage, production, <clears throat> and what I've heard they're planning to, I don't know if it's in here at the moment, but you can buy other other companies. Let's see if there's one. Let's say I want to buy the... I want to buy Ibusoft. I should... Well, they told me that... I, I keep saying Thai. It's or. Or they told me... Not me, but they've said that there's a way to buy these the other companies which is a which is a good idea but basically it's a really interesting concept and I can't wait to see this get polished up of course wait why why are my fans so happy unhappy what's the problem anyways What can I say more? Staff. You can hire staff. They got some special needs. I don't know if this is necessary. They're level 2, so... Let's see if there's one who's bitching about something. Let's see... I think he was bitching. Yeah, he wants arcade white type. Arcade machine for... Which has white type. Uh, maybe some customization on the characters. They look kind of bland, but... Well... I don't know. Maybe they could be improved somehow, but... Making demands, you're just a level, with a level 2 designer making demands. It sounds really fun, really strange. And amusing but basically you can do a lot oh yeah I have the five five thousand fans I can build a support room I wanted to try this there's a there's the <laughs> door out and nobody leaves ever oh wait they can leave didn't even think about it that they used the well, they use that. Anyway, let's see. Support. Let's put a desk there. Yeah. And then we need to hire one. Someone to take care of these things. Not this guy. Yeah. If the game looks interesting, it's in early access from their webpage. You can check them out at the the link is in the description below, and they're at the green light, so if it's the link is in the description below for that too, so go vote if you think this is interesting, interesting to you. To me, I love these games, these kind of games where you have to manage things and such. And I uh, can't wait to see how this game turns out to be. At, at its core, it has nice ideas. It has some basic functionalities, which are... Shut up! It has some basic functionalities, which already f work. At, at the moment, it's in early access, so motion capturing, server room, alpha testing. Graphic studios and uh, music studio is not available, and they unlock with the, these different kind of unlocks here, like training room by a by a larger building, and it tells you this is a fun little thing. Uh, you get trending things, you got your quality of office. Yeah, clicking this does nothing. I want my time control. You just sit around. 
you have nothing to do. Like, if you put it on a fast forward, when a reset goes apeshit or stops, you can stop the time. Like, pressing space, you can put, it, put the game on pause. Little things, it needs polish, but I like it. Go check them out. I'm Disley, and I'll see you next time.